This is a tank tabby. First time I used it, I thought it belongs in the war zone, not on the coffee table. But after using it for a week, I realized something strange. The tabby might be the most overbuilt, over the top device I've ever used. It's part media machine, part survival, and weirdly, it kinda works. They called it the tank pad, and for once, this is not just branding. You got metal frame, reinforced corners, screws all over. It's less iPad and more apocalypse companion. Drop it, no problem. Tip it over, it might hurt you more than the actual tablet. But the weirdest part is not the actual design of the tablet, it's actually the 100 lumens, 120 hertz projector built in inside. I mean, you press a button and suddenly you get a projector running a movie right on the wall. As you can see here, it's running already. I actually don't have a forest close to me to test this, but if you point on a playing wall, you essentially turn it into a mini cinema. Now, 100 lumens is not gonna light up your bedroom at noon. I got a 650 lumens projector that does so much better when there's daylight coming from my window. But this works best at night, perfect for bedtime, YouTube binges, or some Netflix movies while you camping in a tent. The interface is quite simple. Power up, press the projection button right here, then wait for it to turn on, you see the projector is on, and then manual focus using this knob right here. So the knob right here will manually focus your image on the wall. The image will not focus by itself just like projector, so you do actually need to fiddle with it a little bit to get a crispier image. And you can basically mirror your tablet screen right into the wall. So there's nothing you need to connect to the tablet. The tablet itself is an Android tablet, so you can run YouTube, Netflix, or even some lighter games like Call of Duty Mobile, or, which I found very useful, is to project my Xbox Game Pass, which playing Xbox games, on Wi-Fi into the wall wherever I am, which is quite amazing experience to be honest. But of course you must be wondering, you have a projector inside this tablet and a big screen, so how does the battery do? Inside there is 21,000 milliamps power battery. I ran the projector, I used the hotspot, I played some games with this tablet and still got some juice left. I would say it's the first tablet I used that I didn't have to wash the icon of the battery all the time. So what about the specs? Is it gonna blow you out of the water? Mm, not so much. So you have the Helio G99 chip, which is not something to brag about. Then you have a 24 gigabytes of RAM. 12 gigabytes are real RAM, 12 gigabytes are virtual RAM. Then you have 512 gigabytes of storage expandable to two terabytes using an XT card. And then of course you have Android 14 pre-installed. So for everyday stuff, browsing, emails, and media, it's quite smooth. It's running a Helio G99, so it's great for media, but do not expect some heavy gaming or editing on this tablet. I tried Call of Duty Mobile. I dropped the settings down and it's playable, but I don't want to drop the settings. This is not a performance king. It's a durable all day media tank. So who is this tablet actually for? This is not for the casual user. This is for truckers, off the grid campers, construction workers, or people who like to be outside using the projector and using the survival stuff of the tablet. This is for the people who want to use a tablet that can survive the chaos and still at the end of the day stream a movie on their wall. And it's good to mention it's also good for clumsy people because if you drop it it's gonna break the floor, it's not gonna break the tablet itself and you don't have to watch for the battery because the battery life on this is quite amazing. So it's a tablet of course and it has cameras at the back and the front. So how about these cameras? I would say these are the most amazing cameras out there but for video chat or anything uh, simple they work. I mean it will do the job for you. But you might have noticed there's something at the back right here. This is a camping light. It's like an SOS light at the same time, and it's a camping light. Let me turn it on and show you how it actually works. So the way you turn on the light, there is a red button right here. You hold this button, you can see here, I'm holding the button. The light will now turn on. I'm gonna turn off the light and show you how, I, how much I can light up of my room. All right, the light is completely off as you can see here, and I mean, you can see how much you can light up from the room. It's a very strong light and it's quite soft, so it's not like a light that would shine and uh, cast so much shadows. So it's actually even good for filming. Uh, it's a very good light. And also there is another mode here where you can turn it to SOS, I think. Like, you can change the dimming here and then you can turn it to SOS to uh, get the attention. If you're lost in the forest and you need help, you can turn this on and people will definitely yeah, they see you, but it's quite annoying. So since it's a projector tablet, we don't want to forget about the speakers. I mean, part of the experience is going to be the sound. It has a single speaker here at the back, and the speaker, I would say, is a C-. minus. It's not the best speaker to watch movies on or listen to music. I mean, uh, the speaker could have been better. 
it would have completed the projector experience and made it a perfect media machine for you to watch on. I would say the speakers do need improving and when I use the tablet as a projector, I usually pair it with my Bluetooth speaker. You will obey protocol. Gentlemen, welcome to Shutter Island. But this is a waterproof tablet. Also, you have your headphone jack and a charger right there under this flap. And you have your SIM card uh, uh, without an ejector tool, so you can just pull it out and your SIM card goes there, so as your SD card. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, it comes with a case. This tank pad E, which is literally a tank, the way it's built, it does come with the case and I think the case needs the tablet more than the tablet needs the case. So we talked about the tablet and all its features, but how about if you want to buy it? The price is $4.99. It's not cheap. For that price, you could get um, probably an iPad or a Galaxy Tab A8, which are sleeker, probably better for apps and definitely not this heavy. But this is something different. They can't really project a 100 inch screen on the wall. And they hardly come with enough storage and if you drop them they will definitely definitely break so of durability and the projector and the outdoors is your thing this tablet is definitely the one for you so the tankpad e is not trying to be sexy it's trying to be useful unbreakable and last longer than you in a power outage and this is definitely the weirdest tablet i've tested in my life but it 100 percent is the coolest it's not for everyone, but it is for the right person. Left the link for it in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and catch you again in the next one.